So would you like the master to interpret your dream? I would love it because, and we can all we can all jump in here. Yeah, please, anyone anyone decipher this. I actually wrote a blog about this when it happened, so I had to pull up my blog. Yeah, it's a while ago? no, it yeah, this is from a MySpace blog, August sixteenth, two thousand five. That's Here. old. I know this, this is the first time I've logged into MySpace in about a year. <laughs> so uh, now it'll say last login, and that's updated because of you people. Yeah, you can't do mobile uploads on MySpace. Yeah, I was gonna cancel this thing, but whatever. Okay, so. Here's what I wrote, and I want you tell me what the fuck any of this means. Okay. Because I woke up from this dream, eyes open. <sighs> no, just I woke up going, like an honest, honest confusion. Not one of these. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is what I wrote. First, I'm in a dorm room, mm-hmm. college. When, when did you have this dream? I had this dream in 2005. When I, you were in college? I had just graduated uh, the year before. Okay. So I'm fresh, semi-fresh out of college. Okay. I'm less than a year out of college. I'm in a dorm room. Uh, me and a random girl, don't know her, never seen her before, not like someone I know in real life, just a girl. Mm-hmm. And she looks at me and says, want a hump? Mm-hmm. <laughs> First of all, hadn't heard the word hump in about 10 years. So it was <laughs> definitely hump. It was hump. She goes, want a okay. hump? Anyway, I agree, uh, but before anything starts, someone comes to the door, knocks on the door. It's a person who has come for my cat. In this dream, I wasn't aware I had a cat, so I'm pissed off because now I'm not humping uh-huh. and I'm looking for a cat that I never knew about. In real life, I did have a cat mm-hmm. that I love very much. My attention wavers, and I look at a nearby TV that I didn't notice before, so now I'm not even paying attention to the girl anymore. <laughs> on the TV is Alan Keyes, who ran for Illinois Senate. <laughs> I know Alan Keyes. And he is psychopath. And he is crazy. And he's speaking live from a swamp in Florida. <laughs> Alan Keyes is black in real life, but in this, he's white. But he's keyed on the, on the screen as Alan Keyes, representative of... Whatever. White person. White person. Mm-hmm. Uh... Behind him, the swamp water starts coming up like the T-1000. <laughs> and now the TV fills my vision like I'm in the TV. Now like I'm, I'm there in the swamp. I really am in Florida watching this liquid metal overtake Alan Keyes. <laughs> what emerges from the mess, the gooey liquid, is the real black Alan Keyes, only he has goat legs. What? As he starts walking towards me, the Kill Bill music starts playing. <laughs> when Orin Ishii is walking into the club and all those people, and it goes, bum, bum, bum. <laughs> uh, and my dream vision is a camera angle that jumps up Key's goat body with each, bah! so it goes, of torso head. Like, wow. <laughs> After the song plays for a second, fire erupts all around. I mean everywhere. I'm essentially floating in fire. A CG, com- a, a computer-generated Tom Cruise from Mission Impossible 2 appears in the flames. And it's not a real Tom this Cruise. It's undecipherable it's, already. It's not a real Tom Cruise. It is clearly a, a pretty... The character sh- who played him in the PS2 uh, Minority Report it's, game. It's, it's, it's a very shitty CG facsimile. He throws his glasses in my face and they explode <laughs> like the trailer. <laughs> and the fire slowly morphs into the CBS I logo, which is also made of fire. And then that CBS I logo turns into a bat, and the words "Happy Halloween" appear. Jesus, and, it ruins everything I had, I had and, to decipher. And that's when I wake up. <laughs> uh, uh, diagnosis murder. Uh, and, uh, keep in mind that this was August, so it was not Halloween. All a, this well, shit happens, and I wake up. What the fuck the, did the, I just The dream? beginning of your dream is the most telling. <laughs> because you're in a dorm room, and a dorm room is a dorm, in case you haven't known kids, is fuck, it's like a fucking free for all. Yeah. If you ever get the chance to go to college, it's where you don't have to do anything, but a <laughs> fake cat appears because you realize you have responsibilities. Yeah. True. And then they manifest themselves on the TV like, this is politics. I have things to worry about. These things are now going to affect me as a working adult. Because at no, this seriously, time... Seriously, I don't have anything else for the rest of that. No. <laughs> for... At this point, I did start working at ABC, so it was relevant. And then, I, and I do... I don't want to... I, I know that they all tailor into getting old, but I think nothing says old like the CBS logo. Yeah. Like, you well, know, you have that's, to start... that's, the, that's the old impression of CBS. Now it's all young and hip. And is all... it? I think it's a lot of NCIS. I don't know. It's got a lot of hit, hit uh, shows. I don't know. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Uh, well, and were you covering the... Was Alan Keyes running against he was running, Obama he was running for He was running against Obama for Illinois Senate in 2004. And Alan Keyes was a gold mine of yeah. shitty quotes. God, I remember, yeah, it was... 
Well, because it seemed like Obama had already been made oh, senator, yeah. so like everybody yeah. was like, Obama's going to win this, and the Republicans brought in someone to run against him, so yeah. they picked a black guy. Yeah, and he's the one of the three black guys. Yeah, they have. he is the craziest motherfucker. He's like, I can tell you right now, if Jesus were alive, he'd vote for me. Like maybe, he, maybe that's <laughs> what, that's what it is, because everything that makes a transition after that seems like. To me, and I'm not trying to sell you short or overpraise you, but it's all things that make you special. Your appreciation of shit like this. Mission Impossible, the game, the CGI aspect, the bat, <laughs> the swamp. Because I was, I was trying to think of it, if it made if Florida had any significance, and I don't really think it does. I mean, I spend a lot of time in Florida. So I think, again, I think it was this, it's this transition, like, I have responsibility now. Holy shit, Alan Keyes is on. I better get ready to go into work mode. Yeah. And then, boom, all of Brett comes out and ejaculates <laughs> in your face. And then it's all this nastiness, and you wake up, and it's like, oh, my God. I'm, I, maybe, maybe you were too fractured at the time. Uh, I was, what does, uh, it's kind of just this. What yeah. does the girl represent? Like, the girl the who girl represents The girl like, represents his id. What he, we, like, that's something his brain recognizes, something he should want to do. But the ca- the appearance of the cat, I mean, like, well, I have well, to consider. I have to consider him, other things first. Well, it was a person telling him to look for the cat, too, and she, so somebody's making him like uh-huh, get this response. Uh huh. The too. point is, you're growing up. Mm. <laughs> Are you worried? As, as of 2005, <laughs> yeah. and I'm not. As There's as another <laughs> shorter one after that, or we can skip it. Of, of your dream? Yeah. Let's save it for next week. All right. Well, Nobody go look up Brett's MySpace. Two weeks from now. Two weeks from now. <laughs> it involves the Hulk. Woo! <laughs> Wait next week when Brett's not here. I'm going to interpret his dream where he can't when he can't defend himself. It's in the, you know what it's going to be? One word: gay. Gay. <laughs> yeah, I've been waiting. Um, I've been waiting for that one. All right, let's let's 